Today we're going to take you to meet a couple thousand of our newest friends. Are we at Pug Fest? What's going on, Woods? Did we make it? Say hi, everybody. We made it to Pug Fest. Poppy's finding us a place to camp for the next couple days. Yes, and then we're gonna party. Oh my word. Are you excited? This is your weekend. Yes. Hug Fester Bust. Bluegrass Hug Fest, here we come. Have you ever walked a high pass? Watched the northern lights flash? Took a photograph on a Paris street. Have you ever climbed a tall tree? Asked someone for mercy? Gave something away that wasn't free? I don't wanna get a vision of you stuck in my head because I know that you were meant to be wilder. Another night of television while you're lying in bed is slowly gonna be the death of you. Have you ever really lived? You talk a bit. So Randy and I and Gracie and Woody went into uh, Louisville, Kentucky over the weekend for an event called the Bluegrass Pug Fest. They were formerly known as the Milwaukee Pug Fest, established back in 2004. Their founders were Rick and Debbie, and I apologize, I wouldn't even attempt to pronounce their last name. I'd totally butcher it. And with me, I have our board of directors. I have Rick and Debbie, uh, who founded Bluegrass Pug Fest in 2005. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. And Sandy uh, is up here, and they all played an integral role in putting this event together. My name is Paul, uh, and the four of us comprise the group of people that put this event on for you. I want to announce that the mayor has proclaimed today Bluegrass Pug Fest Day in Louisville. We have the proclamation here if anybody wants to see it. So, May 14th, 2022 is hereby proclaimed in Louisville, Kentucky, Bluegrass Pub Fest Day. And I urge all citizens to observe this special recognition, signed by Greg Fisher Mayor. Paul is the gentleman that we've dealt with. He's been involved with them for a while. And it was just a really good time. Yeah, it, right? was. it was fun. We had a blast. When they started the event back in 2004, they had about 600 people show up for their first event and about 250 pugs. 
they didn't expect, but maybe a handful of people from what I read online about the organization. So the event was a true success way back in 2004. It has now moved to Louisville, Kentucky because the founders have headed south for retirement. So in the future, the Blue, Bluegrass Pug Fest will be held in Louisville, Kentucky. They're set up for next year. Let me get those dates for May 20th and the 21st. Chasing the Dream RV will be there. We will. We will, right. <laughs> we had a good time, so we're definitely going back. We did, yes. Um, I personally want to thank the founders, the volunteers, the sponsors, and the organizations, the rescue organizations that take care of helping this breed grow and get the health needs, you know, services, vet services, and homes that these rescuers have the heart to do because well, that, that's what it's all about it's about raising money for rescues yes right? there's seven <clears throat> rescues exactly and we'll have the link to all those rescues down below if you're interested in helping out their organizations they're across the nation there's seven of them again we'll put those links down below if you feel you know compelled to do so please donate it's a great cause. Yeah, they're all volunteers. So mm -hmm. They all do this out of the kindness of their heart. So to tell you a little bit about what you're seeing here in our video, it's just really the celebration of the pug. Everybody comes together. We all love the, the breed, obviously, or we wouldn't be there. They do have a king and queen contest online. You can submit your photo. And I believe it's a dollar or two to vote. From what I gather this year, just the contest, that photo contest alone, or the king and queen contest, excuse me, raised about $6,000 that will be split amongst the rescue organizations. Mm -hmm. And of course, they'll hold back a little bit of funds to pay for the event. You know, they have to pay for the convention center there in Louisville and whatnot. So then that rolls us into the whole contest part. And our Woody, boy, did he let us down, right? Yeah, he did. He is something else, that guy. You put his food down, and in seconds, it's gone. So they have a custard eating contest. We thought for sure Woody would win. No, he took a sweet ass time. <laughs> he, did. he did, didn't Must he? Must have been something good in that custard. He liked that he custard. Just, he Man, savored he it. He savored every, every little lick of that custard. And then we, he's really fast because he's tall and long, but. He failed on the <laughs> on the races, the pug race. The races. pug race. He uh, was just more interested in meeting butts. the other. Yeah, <laughs> he was, sniffing. He was, he was sniffing, sniffing everybody. Butts instead of running. Yeah, so right that was a good time. We we really enjoyed the whole event. Um, they had a talent contest. You could submit a photo for the most photogenic. I think it was there. You brought a black and white, and then they had um, a costume, con con costume contest, handmade costumes, and store bought costumes, and, and then, then floats. Uh, I guess it floats, was yeah. groups. That's yeah. what they were called, the groups. So, like, all in all, it was a really good time. They kept you entertained the whole time, and yeah, there's a lot of stuff to buy and purchase. We purchased the uh, picture that we really found through the uh, the silent auction. Yeah, silent auction. They we had used that to, both days. We chose to buy it now because we didn't. We lost one the day before, and uh, we did, didn't we? We didn't actually bid on it though. We went back later to bid on it, and it was gone. So I said, you know what? It goes Sunday to a good morning. Cost. Yeah, yeah, Sunday morning we went in so and we said, used hey, to buy it now. We want that one. <laughs> and whatever. I mean, it was more money than we. Probably should have paid for it, but it was it's worth it. It's all good. It's yeah. a great cause. And it I just absolutely cause. love the picture. I should have brought it out for everybody, yeah. but that's okay. We'll show it to you in one of the future videos. I'm yeah. Sure. So they had the silent auction on Saturday and Sunday. They did hold educational sessions for like pet CPR. Yeah, we didn't get to do any of them, but they had some really good ones. So yeah. maybe in the future. In the future. We were trying to mm -hmm. get, a, get a lot of video and done. And so. Yeah, we were focused on, we wanted to provide them with really good promotional video and footage, you know, for the cause in the future. So back to the event itself, you could have had nail trimming, mm -hmm. they had pet photography, they had a little, um, what was the one? The psychic bug. The psychic, yeah, thank the you. Psychic yes, you read there. my mind. Yeah, for 50 <laughs> cents, she could have. She could tell you what your pet pug was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Was that what it was? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know what mine's thinking. Food. Food. Woody says, feed uh, me. 
right. so but anyway it was really a good time if you're and just to be clear if you want to attend you don't have to have a pug you don't have to bring your dog yeah you bring all any breed dogs, dogs yeah all dogs care. are welcome to come and it's a really an enjoyable and event if you want to stay you can they have rv spots for the rvers out there they have rv spots Correct. At the convention center. They're not the greatest. Well, it was being parked in a parking lot. You're in a parking lot. And we and did have, have a full water and up. sewer, and, but that's limited. It's like a first come, first serve basis. And you are in a flight path for an airport, and they are <laughs> kind of low. So yeah. It's not the best accommodations. Yeah, but we had no idea. I knew it was outside of the airport, but I did not know that we would be in the direct and an amusement flight path. Park. Yeah. And an amusement <laughs> park there, too. But the, the convenience of being right there, if that's you know what you want to do yeah that worked we out really it. well i mean we were very happy with it i mean the people were nice that got us hooked the up convention there. center they mm -hmm. helped us find a good spot where we wanted to be and you know it was 75 fine. 75 dollars a night which is on the high side for what you're getting but it was okay it was good oh. they have dumpsters there you can get rid of your trash and, mm -hmm. uh, and we no. didn't need somebody to pump us out. We didn't I would, have to uh, find a dump station or anything. I don't know if next year we'll stay there or we'll stay outside of there. Probably probably stay there. Well, it has its pros and cons. We didn't have to fight with any traffic. Yes, we didn't convenient. have to drive. You can come it, in and come out. Come and go. You know, I mean, so, we yeah. went and had lunch, yeah. you know, back at the coach and let the dogs rest before the big pug race. That, that was a that fail. It <laughs> didn't matter. But anyway, okay. it was a good time. We'd love to have you join us. If you like this video, you know what to do. Click subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in our next video.